Well, hello everybody, welcome back to another graphic arc video and uh, today we'll be covering uh, Trackmania if you are like me and uh, would like racing games. I just recently started playing again Trackmania after, I don't know, like 10 years or so <laughs> and uh, I really uh, got into it, so yeah. This is uh, usually the experience on Intel Arc GPUs and it, it is as follows. Once you click here the download button and press install, you know it downloads and it says here download complete for Techmania. Everything is good and fine, you are finally ready to start playing the game, you know, race with other people, etc, etc. But once you click play game, you will see what happens. Either it's uh, this un unlimited loading screen, it does not want to go inside, as you can see here which uh, I'm not sure what's going on but uh, one way to solve this issue is actually uh, go to your uh, Ubisoft uh, folder here as you can see game launcher games and we have here Trackmania if you launch Trackmania from uh, the shortcut it will actually work so yeah that's good to know but uh, look at this guys look at this corrupted installation how can this be corrupted installation you can try deleting the game, you can try verifying the game files every time you will be met with this kind of error. So what you gotta do now actually is uh, download DXVK. Uh, people say uh, you get banned in uh, online games, but Trackmania as far as I know doesn't use any anti-cheat because uh, they actually made, as far as I know, uh, separate maps for hackers to play and beat their time. So uh, yeah, it's good for us to know. Uh, so what you just gotta do is download DXVK 2.1, uh, I will leave the link down in the description and what you gotta do is uh, copy these x64 files, all of them, to the folder that we have here in Trackmania. So once you do that, and uh, should be everything ready to go, it also works for other games that need DXVK, you just copy all these three files for to the main uh, directory folder where the exe file is, and uh, DXVK should be implemented then. So now if we start the game, let me quickly open up. Oh, Cap Frame X. Yeah, I got us Cap Frame X, guys. <laughs> I said I will play around with it a bit and uh, see how it goes. But yeah, see, guys, now it says please wait, not corrupted install or anything else. So <laughs> we got Trackmania now working in uh, Intel Arc GPUs. So uh, yeah. I advise you once you start the game that you put to the full screen because you will get the best performance possible. Of course, they disable the dynamic resolution, which is usually at on. Uh, and uh, yeah, anti aliasing either use FXA or none. Fast aliasing MSA, I mean, you can use, but I leave it at off because it uh, gives better performance. Texture filtering. Maybe it's better to force this through the driver, but okay, I mean, it doesn't look bad on Billionaire and it gives about 15 FPS, 20 more, so I just leave it at that. And here's my preset, I think we can use very high, but okay, we have to restart the game, doesn't matter. And uh, reflection on water surfaces, I advise you to put this on low. And uh, if you want, you can use other reflections, but I have also everything this disabled because I don't want all the distracting reflections giving me, you know, uh, headaches when playing and not sure where to go. So yeah, let's go quickly here, uh, one map. Uh, yeah, this one is really good, guys. This one is... Uh, try to get this one uh, in uh, this outer record. And let me know if you can do it. I've been playing around for so long and still haven't been able to uh, do the record but now look at this guys, let's go, let's go, we are driving, we are almost ahead but my personal test here look, is really good because I drove here very fast but yeah look at the FPS, we are getting almost 150 FPS and uh, I am actually kept at 150 FPS so uh, yeah you can see Trackmania, no graphical glitches with DXVK, it works really good. Oh, let's go! Oh, I was not that good, but uh, yeah, you get the drill. Uh, I maybe also advise you, actually, uh, there is this, uh, let me quickly show you, uh, some uh, fixes and improvements to the game. Okay, so we have here Trackmania, I already have it fixed. What I just did here in this fixed folder is actually install open planet which is an add-on for track mania i will show you so uh, i already have uh, dxvk inside here because otherwise it doesn't work even with the uh, open planet it will not work so you better have uh, 2.1 uh, 
DXVK because 2.0 gave me some problems. I did the async one and uh, I think it worked a bit better, but uh, the performance here is good, so I will just leave it to that. And uh, once uh, this is installed, I will just quickly disable. Oh, wait, I can't. Uh, you just press F3, and as you can see up here, I have right now overlay. But uh, if you go here, we have. Let, wait, let me quickly. Uh, I'm not sure what I have uh, button for OSD. Let me quickly check. Overlay, what's the button to. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, anyways, I will just close it down. Oh, I can't seem to update the software of Open Planet via this. You will have to manually download it once it's posted. So even if you have one uh, version lower, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, now we have menu up here, as you can see, Open Planet. And what you got to do is uh, just go to the Open Manager here and uh, install your favorite plugins. I have this uh, installed. Uh, we have better chat lightning map quality, so it improves a bit of uh, map quality. Tweaker, it's a good idea. I will show you this. Uh, force display mode, this is good if you, it actually forces the game to always use full screen, windowed, borderless, it depends what you set. So I just set it at full screen and be done with it. This medal, so you check the records of course, and uh, the dashboard, how are you driving and stuff. But yeah, once that you, once you install these mods, I mean at least for the tweaker, you just go up here, open planet settings, and uh, then you will have all the settings for uh, tweakers and stuff. So what you just gotta do is here is go to the options and uh, let's enable draw distance to be much better this uh, gives uh, you better uh, draw distance as, as, as it clearly says here uh, i advise you not to actually edit this because i had some problems but uh, yeah i also want to do it right now as i don't want the game to look bad crash or whatever so let's go one more uh, this uh, 15th track and see if anything improved in this one oh let me quickly launch cat frame x Press resume, resume, I will drive uh, alone. Oh, see now we dropped FPS because of uh, draw distance, but look at these guys, we can see so far. But yeah, okay, I mean we dropped 50 FPS because of the draw distance. <laughs> okay, let me drive one carefully, not look at the FPS graph. I really drove here good. I mean, good. It's not good because people have much better records, but yeah. God damn. Uh, yeah, I mean, this draw distance looks really good. No more uh, artifacting on uh, textures way behind. But is it actually worth the 50 FPS sacrifice? I'm not so sure, guys. I'm not so sure. Okay, man, what's with me? Let me go back to the settings. Where is it? Here. I already had it open and uh let's see what happens if we actually disable wait let me just uh, press the restart so we have 108 fps here oh now we have uh, average fps uh, one percent low so we see we are holding about 60 and uh yeah let's see if we actually what happens now if we lower the distance do we get any fps boost no what if we disable it Oi. how is it even worse I guess this is the performance then in this game. Huh, interesting. I thought I had better FPS before when we drove, but uh, okay. Guess it does not impact performance this uh, render distance. So just use the tweaker, put uh, render distance to more so you can see further ahead in more detail. And uh, yeah, enjoy some track mania, guys. Uh, maybe we see each other on the battlefield. I mean, battlefield on the driveways of uh, speed tracks online. You actually have to pay a uh, 10 euro uh, if you want to race uh, the live tracks and stuff. But I think it's worth it. 10 euro for one year, not bad. Oh, how I miss that, guys! How did I miss that? Let me do one more drive and uh, yeah. Let me know down in the comments below if you'll be playing Track Mania and. Uh, we maybe see each other in one game, right? Right? Yeah, let's go. I will change my nickname so you will know it's Graphic Arc, but uh, not right now. Uh, I'm driving on a keyboard. Maybe it's, uh, at some maps it's better to actually drive with uh, controller because you can do more smooth turns. I have here a PlayStation 5 controller and uh, yeah, I will be playing with that. 
So yeah, this game is free to play. Oh come on again, I missed. <laughs> Anyways, this game is free to play. Uh, download it. Install DXVK. Let me know how it works on your graphic card in uh, the comments down below. And uh, yeah, let's see you in the next one, which should be pretty soon. I might actually do one Fortnite live stream today, but uh, yeah, we'll see if my friend will be up for it. I saw there's no build mode, so whew, I, I hate Fortnite just because of the building. You know, you had to quickly build the towers to defend yourself and my skills with that was total code and I mean it's not good yet <laughs> anyways guys like subscribe uh, see ya in the next one peace out